Hi there. Going to take a look at Inkscape today and sort of give a quick tutorial about how to make pieces with an outline and a shadow. So I have here a basic piece, and this is from the Fritz set. What I'm going to do is change the background color so that I can tell what is white and what is not white. As you can see, instead of this being white, it was transparent. So I need to fix that. So I'm going to use the what do you call this? The paint bucket. I'm going to use the paint bucket tool. And I have it set to grow by 0.6, whatever that is, pixels or something. But basically what happens is whenever I click on an area, you can see that it actually expands into the area around it just a little bit. The area I fill is actually a little bit larger than the hole. And that's intentional. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to highlight just that black outline and I'm going to bring it to the top so that it covers up that. And that way there's no transparent little gaps. And now I'm going to take just that top part again and I'm going to clone it. I'm going to basically make another copy of it. And I just control C copied it and control V pasted it. So now I have it. I'm going to use this for the outline. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it white. Well, there we go. And you can see that it has a border on it, and that is actually due to the stroke properties. So I'm going to, you know, it's kind of in the way over here with my picture. Um, it's actually the stroke style, I believe. Oops, I think I need to select it somehow. I'm not sure. There we go. So I change, I use the uh, path tool, and I select the, the path and change the width to zero so it doesn't have any of the uh, outline the original stroke there so come back here and now it looks the way we'd want it to look so what I want to do now is to expand it a little bit and in order to do that I use the path tool again I believe and I go to dynamic offset and that gives me a little handle here which I can drag and it will expand the path but you can't do it very precisely if you do it by dragging. So instead, I go to the XML editor, and I change this Inkscape radius. I change it to 1.5. And it says to hit Control enter when done to commit the changes. And then I close it, and you can see I have this jumbo size thing. So now I can drag this around wherever I want to. Uh, and I can get rid of what in the world? I don't know what just happened there. Odd. There we go. It was just an artifact, I think. And what I want to do is I want to put this on the bottom, so I'm going to push End, and now it's underneath everything. And you could do that probably with Layer, uh, or maybe an Object. Yeah, Raise or Lower. Raise to the top or Lower to the bottom. That's what I'm doing, but I'm just hitting End to lower it to the bottom. So now it's underneath, and I can use my Align and Distribute tool, which is, I don't remember where it is, Object, Align and Distribute, I hit Control shift a to bring it up, and I can get it pretty close to where I want it by relative to page, centering it each way, and see that's pretty close to where I wanted it, because the other thing was already centered that way, so that's pretty much how I wanted it. So there's my finished piece, pretty much. Um, and what I can do now is take that same piece that I was just using, not that piece, the one behind it, there we go, clone it again, change it to a different color. I think I use 60%, if I remember right, it's been a while. And I basically just do the same thing, line it up, send it to the bottom, and then I think, I mean, it depends on your settings. Uh, whoops. You know, you can figure out how you want to move it down into the right a certain amount. I believe the way I had it before, that's pretty close to how I would want it right there. But it's not exact, and you would want to be consistent with how you did it. So you could uh, use like the arrow keys a certain number of times. So let me center it. And then, and it won't do it after I center it. That's odd. So if I just go ahead and do that, and without sending it to the bottom, and that way I can, yeah, there we go. So if I hit to the right twice, and then down twice, and then end, send it to the bottom. 
And there's my finished piece. And that may be too big. That's probably too big. What if I go one time? And you can change somewhere in the preferences. There's a way you can change how far it moves with each thing. And then I recommend going back and changing your uh, background all the way to transparent. And there's your finished piece. So that's a pretty, I think, straightforward guide. Basically, you fill in the back, <coughs> excuse me, fill in the background of your piece with white, take the edge, clone it, and turn it white. Then we use the path dynamic offset, and then we go to the XML editor and change the Inkscape radius, which it won't be in this window now. Um, center it up, and then clone it again and make a gray one and offset it down into the right. That's pretty much it. Alright, talk to you guys later.